Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. My name is Laura and today let's cover a couple of tips on how to iron a dress shirt. I'm going to press a man's shirt. However, the system is the same for a man or a woman's shirt. The difference with a man or a woman's shirt is the buttons are on the opposite sides. But most of the shirts have a lot of the same construction, so the ironing is going to be the same. The first seam to press will be the shoulders. You don't want to see a pressed line. It's nice that it's all smooth. In order to do that, you're going to press it from the back. And the easiest way to press this is to fold the shirt along the seam where that shoulder piece and the back piece meet. So I'm just going to grab that and fold it right along that edge. You are going to end up with a press line there, but that's fine because you're not going to notice it because you already have a seam there. I take and move my sleeves out of the way and I make sure that underneath there are no wrinkles. The collar is going to sit up, but you're going to be able to press that back piece and a little bit right into the front. I don't need to press the sleeves. I'm just worried about that back piece coming up to the front. I also like to starch my shirts. It makes the ironing very easy to do. The iron glides over top and it does help set it and it helps some of the wrinkles come out. You can get a heavy starch, you can get a light starch, use whatever you feel comfortable using. And I'm just going to spray the area that I'm working on. If your shirt is very wrinkled, give this just a second or two so that starch has a chance to soak into the fibers. With that soaking in, it's also going to give the fibers a chance to relax a little bit, which will make those wrinkles come out better. Set your iron so it's the right temperature for the fabric of your shirt. You can hold that collar out of your way and press right up to that edge. The next is going to be the collar. I'm going to press the collar from the one side and from the second side. So take your shirt and pull the collar out so it's nice and flat. You can just stretch a little bit as you press and it's going to make sure that you're not ironing any wrinkles in. Most times when you turn it over, the collar is going to be all right on the other side. This is the area you're going to see, so I want to make sure that it is flat and there are no wrinkles in it. So I will give it just a second press. The next seam is going to be that area where you have your buttons and the buttonholes. So I'm going to work on one side at a time. The side with the buttonholes, a lot of times what will happen is this little piece, this placket, will wrinkle up on itself. So the first row I'm going to press is just this area here and I'm not going to worry about the rest. I just want to make sure that this is nice and flat. Start from the bottom, hold that top, just stretch it ever so slightly and let the iron push the seams down and go right up to the top. If that placket still wants to roll over to the other side, you're going to have to give it a little press from the back side. Not all shirts are going to need that double pressing. It will all depend on how badly that front is wrinkled. I'm going to press the front piece going right up to that side seam. Some of the top has already been done with that first pressing, so I won't have to worry about trying to shove my iron in there. I know that's pressed, and I'm going to be able to just lay it out flat and press. Now, if you have a pocket that's giving you a hard time, you can press this from the right side. It doesn't matter if you're pressing from the right or the wrong side. I'm able to go right up to where that first press area that I did. So the one front side is done. I'm going to do the other front side. Now the button area, sometimes the shirts will roll in and you want them to lay nice and flat. The easiest way is to press this side from the wrong side. That way you're not having to try to get the iron in between the buttons. So turn it so the buttons are down. With the buttons down, I'm able just to press right over top of those buttons, right up to the collar. I'm going to smooth out that front piece and I'm going to press from that side seam right to the front. Again, a lot of that has been pressed up at the collar so I won't have to worry about shoving my iron in that area. 
Now we need to work on the back. If you have a nice big pressing surface, you can do the whole thing at once. If not, you can do half the back at a time. I like to smooth out my wrinkles, starch, and then press. And I'm able to press right up against that back seam that we folded on for that first press line. And I can press out some of that line if I want to. The entire body of the shirt is now pressed. We need to work on the sleeves. Fold the sleeve in half right along that seam line. The only part in the shirt that is going to have a crease is going to be here where it's right down the center of the sleeve. I'm going to show you how to do it with that press, then I'm going to show you how to use a sleeve board if you don't want that press line. I undo the buttons so that I'm able to get the iron right in there. So I fold that first piece down and out of the way and press that corner down right where that sleeve is going to do up. Now if it's a short sleeve, you won't have to do that. When that first piece is pressed down, I can now press down this little top piece. So here is that little pleat in that cuff. I'm going to be able to take my iron point and put it right inside that little pleat. With that nose of the iron, I can just pull that iron out and it's going to give it a bit of a press. So I'm going to have a little bit of a press mark right there. I have that area right there by the cuff done. Now I can do the rest. And just press right up to that seam. I like to press with the buttons down so I don't have to worry about going over that button. So I'm going to start the iron where the buttonhole is. Move that iron towards the button. As I get closer to the button, I can take the iron off of that corner. That corner is going to lift up and I'm going to be able to press those buttons. When the pressing is done, you will now have that one seam right down the center top of your arm. If you don't want that seam, you can use a sleeve board. A sleeve board is this odd shaped ironing board. It looks like a miniature ironing board. You have a larger point on one side, a smaller one on the other. This is a homemade one, so it might not look exactly like this. The idea is the sleeve is going to fit over this edge. I'm going to take that sleeve and that's that center line and it'll fit right off that board. You can see that's where the board is inside. And now I'm going to be able to iron it and not worry about that center mark. And just move the sleeve until you have all of the area covered. You can also use a ham that is designed for pressing for the same thing. So you'd be able to just take that ham stick it in and iron over top of it so that you have no press lines at all. With a little bit of pressing, you can take just a regular shirt and turn it into a shirt that's a little bit more tailored or a little bit more business-like. Little pressing will go a long way for a shirt. Most shirts don't need this much pressing. Start with that back piece and you're set to go. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.